In this video, we are going through lower block signs for primary 3 and 4 in the module Diversity, uh, specifically looking at animals. And these are some of the exam questions that have come up before uh, from other schools. So the diagram below shows animal P. Susan wanted to find out if the animal is an insect. She carried out the following steps. She measured its length, checked if it had wings, counted the number of legs, counted the number of body parts. So for insects in the animal, you have three body parts. These are the three things you need to know. Two feelers and you have six legs. All right, six legs. So these are the three things you have to know about animals, uh, about insects, I mean. Which two steps A, B, C, N or D are used to determine if animal P is an insect? So I need to count. So it's not the length, it's not whether it has wings. It's the number of legs that's right and the number of body parts. So it is step C and D. From the above steps, Susan concluded that animal P is not an insect, which is correct. Huh? So because this is a spider, a spider is not an insect. Give a reason how animal P is different from an insect. Right, so insect insect has six legs. Animal P has eight legs. So this is a two mark question, so you need to give two points. So insect has three body parts. Animal P has two body parts. So the body parts is one and two, right? Two body parts. So this is not an insect. During her walk at Bishan Park, Alice noticed that many lay, many that the snail lays many eggs at one time. Why does the snail lay many eggs? All right. So why does the snail name lay many eggs? Is it to camouflage from the predators? Nope. Camouflage. You will have stripes. You will have colors that is near the uh, environment that you are in. Is it to only reproduce once in their lifetime? Nope, they do not just reproduce once. Is it to attract more birds to eat their young? Nope, they hope no birds will eat their young. Uh, finally, is it to increase the survival of its own kind? Yes, that is correct. It is to increase the survival of its own kind. So the answer is number four. Study the flow chart below carefully. You start here. Does it have six legs? Yes, it has six legs. No, it doesn't have six legs. Does it have gills to breathe? Yes, it has gills to breathe. No, it doesn't. Does it breathe through its skin? Yes, it breathes through. No, it doesn't. So six legs, usually it's... Just fill it in quickly. Uh, insects, gills, it's usually fish. Does it breathe through its skin? Yes, it's amphibians. All right, so let's look at what the question is asking. Which group would a frog most likely be in? So let's go and find the group of a frog. So is it in, does it have six legs? No, it's not an insect. So frog won't be here. Uh, does it have gills? No, nope, insects have, uh, frogs have no gills. Yes, it is an amphibian. So it's likely to be in group C. All right, three. Now, um, when I write all this here, I encourage you to write as well this three words okay because it will help you to avoid careless mistakes okay so look at it six legs yes you know it's insects gills yes gills is a fish uh brief true skin yes amphibians and then from here you know that the frog is an amphibian and then therefore match amphibian to amphibians and you know that it is at the group C. All right, this will reduce your careless mistakes if you write out write it out first. Study the classification table below. I have animals, animals that have wings, animals that do not have wings, animals that have two legs, six legs, two legs, six legs. So these are the group of animals with no wings, two legs and six legs. These are the animals with yes, they have wings, two legs and six legs. And I give them four letters to represent them, W, X, Y, and Z. So let's look at the question below. 
based on the classification diagram above state two characteristics of the animal w now be careful you have to give it based on the classification diagram above all right so even you know if it's an insect uh you can say it has three body parts but because the classification doesn't give it so you cannot say it has three body parts so let's look at w from w you know that it has two legs and it has wings so you must write down has two legs and wings all right so with this maybe you can get guess that w is the group birds but you cannot say if you write feathers under the classification is actually wrong because it's not stated here that uh, it's a bird or it has feathers which letter w x y or z represents men explain your answer so which one explain, uh, represents men? Men Do men have wings? So the men have no wings. So we have here, do not have wings. Do we have two legs or six legs? So men have two legs. So therefore it's Y because men do not have wings and we have two legs. All right, so no wings, two legs, that's men. Identify the group that of animals that group X belongs to. So group X, let's look at this. Have wings, six legs. So every time you see six legs, usually it is insects. Alright, so the group it belongs to are insects. So again, insects, you need to remember the three things that insects have, which is six legs, three body parts, and two feelers. Alright, so you have six legs, then they are insects. A student stated that groups X and Z belong to the same animal group. State another characteristic of this group of animals. Let's look at X and Z first. So X is this, Z is this. Uh, X has six legs, Z has six legs with wings, no wings. So state another characteristic. So we have already given the six legs. So you can say either they have three body parts three body parts or two feelers. All right, so either one is correct. Now in this question, you have to learn how to read the uh, flow chart carefully. All right, and if you don't know, or if you're confused by the flow chart, just cover it up uh, using a piece of paper and slowly think to yourself, all right, I have wings. If having wings, having two legs, what is it? And write down all your analysis over here. So this must be birds. This must, if they have six legs, they must be insects with wings, uh, no wings with two legs. You might put a question mark here and then later you find out it's men. And then no wings with six legs, you put insects here again. All right. So just fill in, fill in as much detail as possible if you're confused by this flow chart uh, with all the scientific knowledge that you have. And then after that, when you look at a question, it's going to be much easier to figure out what's the answer. Study the living things given below. Moss is uh, reproduced by spores. Non-flowering, all right. Just write it down. Whatever you know about them. Uh, it's green and produce own food. Produce own food. Coconut tree has flowering and also produces own food. But nest fern is non-flowering and produce its own food rose plant is flowering and also produce its own food now I've, I've not read the question yet so but every time i see or i'm given information then i know i want to write down everything i know about this information so that it makes me easier to answer the questions and avoid careless mistakes so let's look at the questions Fill in the classification chart to show how all the living things above can be classified and give the chart a suitable heading. All right, so I've already written down everything here and I know that one of them will be non-flowering plants and the other one is flowering plants. Okay, so non-flowering, I have moss and I have bird's nest fern. Flowering plants, I have coconut tree and I have rose plant. Okay, so fill in the blanks yourself. Um, because, because I've already written all this over here, so it makes it so much easier for me to just fill in the blanks over here. 
Can Toadstool be placed in any of the group above? Explain your answer. Yes, I can put. Uh, I can place Toadstool under non-flowering plants. I can put it under non-flowering plants. All right. Explain your answers because Toadstool is a non-flowering plant and reproduce by spores. Right, so that's one possible answer. Another possible answer is no, I cannot put toadstool in any of the groups above because this is non-flowering plant plus make its own food. This is flowering plant plus make its own food. And toadstool is a non-flowering plant but it does not. Does not make its own food all right and therefore i cannot place them in any group i think both answers are correct the key thing is you need to explain your answer and why you want to put them in one group or do not put them in one group all right uh, but this should be the more normal answer which is you just put them under the non-flowering plants the group of non-flowering plants state how non-flowering plants reproduce this is asking this is asking for your science knowledge, all right? So basically, you just have to tell them how non-flowering plants reproduce. So they reproduce by spores, and it is dispersed when the wind blow the spores. Okay, uh, and then when they settle down into a suitable place, then they will grow into a new um, plant. The table below shows some characteristics of animal P, Q, and R. A tick shows that they have the characteristics. Three body parts, you just write here insects because it's about insects. Lays eggs, well, many other types of uh, groups of animals lay eggs. Feed young with milk is mammal. All right, so R has this, P and Q lay eggs. P has three body parts. Let's look at the question. All right, so I know that my this is an insect and it lays eggs so i know that my p is an insect so look at snake snake is not an insect grasshopper is an insect goldfish is not an insect and is an insect so these are the two possible ones q lay eggs and my r is a mammal because it feeds young with milk let's look at this cat yes feeds young with milk toad no it doesn't feed young with milk uh elephant yes turtle no all right and the last one lay eggs just check and confirm that my Q has lay eggs as well, which is goldfish. Goldfish lay eggs. Eagle lay eggs. Bats have live young. Ants lay eggs. So with my three ticks, it's number. My answer is number four. All right. But the key to this, I want you to realize is you need to write down the uh, group on the top. Because you need to write down the group on the top and then you need to think to yourself, oh, a snake is under which group? Is it a reptile? Is it a what? So, it's the, it's again, you want to write down step by step uh, each step of your thinking process so that it's easy for you to look at the next step. So, if you want to think that, oh, a snake is a reptile and a reptile doesn't have three body parts over here and then from there, then you think, oh, it's not an insect or oh, it's a lot of a lot of uh, thinking process to go through, all right? So what you want is to write down all this thinking process so you can clearly, and without any careless mistakes, see which one is the answer. So I know that I'm looking for an insect, so I can ask myself, is a snake an insect? Nope, then I cross it out. Is a grasshopper an insect? Yes, then I tick. Is a goldfish an insect? Nope, I cross it out. Is an ant an insect? Yes, and I tick, all right? So you want to be very clear what you're looking out for uh, based on all this, then can compare the rest of the answers whether they are correct or not okay so again i say write down when you see a question write down what you know uh, all the information that the question give you and based on your science knowledge what can, how can you group all this information together and all the things all the other extra things that you know about uh that you can add to what the question is giving you. Okay, write all this down so that it's easier for you to answer questions and you make lesser careless mistakes. Some animals were classified as shown below animals. I have my frog, my duck, my lizard, I have my bat, my dolphin, and my tiger. So even without looking at the question, I roughly can guess that this is 
mammals. And this one is a question mark. Frog is an amphibian. Duck is a bird. Lizard is a reptile. So it's a question mark. All right, let's look at what the question gives us. So I know that all these are mammals give birth to live young. Yes, mammals give birth to live young. They have hair. Live on land, no, not true. Do not have, hey, wait, do not have feelers, correct? Um, looking at this, do they all lay eggs? Amphibians, birds, and reptiles, yes, they all lay eggs. Do they all have scales? All right, I know birds don't have scales. Birds have feathers. Amphibians have moist skin, so nope, it's not. Do they all live in water? Nope. Uh, lizard do not live in water. Do they all have feelers? Nope. Uh, they are none of them are insects actually. So now uh, again, after I've written everything, I compare what I know. R e p t i l e s. What I know against what I have, then I know that my answer is number one. All right. Uh, so I know that these are anim these are mammals based on these three animals. I cannot be sure which group this is in, but after looking at the answers, I know I I will know that it is based on uh, laying eggs. Study the flow chart below carefully. Live in water? Nope. Does not live in water. It lives in water. Has scales. Doesn't have scales. Yes, lay eggs over here. So animal D has live in waters, has scales and lay eggs. Based on the flow chart above, state one difference between animals A and B. Alright, so I have animal A, I have animal B, I have one difference. So the difference is that animal A does not. Alright, does it live in water? No, it doesn't. And animal B lives in water. Yes, it does. Animal B lives in water. So animal a live on land animal b live in water based on the flow chart above state two similarities between c and d c and d two similarities so both C and D are over here. So therefore, they both live in water and they both have scales. So C and D live in water and they have scales as covering. All right. Name the group of animal that animal D belongs to. So animal D is over here. So animal, animal D, I have living in water. I have, yes, they have scales. Yes, they lay eggs. So with all these things, uh, it is also known as a fish. So over here we write fish. Belongs to the group fish. Study the classification chart below carefully. I have birds, owl, and chicken. I have group Y, dolphin, and zebra. So I need to realize that group Y is under mammals. All right, because dolphin is a animal, a mammal. Which one of the following animal belongs to group Y? A shark is not a mammal. Ostrich is a bird, so it belongs to uh, this group, right? Group of birds. Butterfly is an insect, so it's actually bat. So bats and dolphins are mammals all right so the answer is number one lena observed an adult animal and recorded the following information it lays eggs two legs does not have fins and gills does not produce milk to feed its young so it's not a mammal it's not a fish it lays eggs and has two legs uh might be a bird all right or a reptile maybe all right uh lay skin and maybe a amphibian possibly let's take a look what can you conclude about the animal from the information given not a fish it is correct it is not a fish because a fish will have fins and gills it's not a bird uh not true i cannot conclude that it is not a bird because two legs and eggs it po it is possible that it's a bird it's not an insect it's true it's not an insect because no three body parts no six legs no two feelers not a mammal it is true it is not a mammal because it does not produce milk to feed its young so the answer is a c and d and we are looking at number three over here study the classification chart below carefully living things giving birth goat and bear these are 
mammals because mammals give birth to live young laying eggs i have mosquito and x so what can x be is x lion nope it cannot be lion because lion give birth to live young sex turtle yes possible giraffe no Mon monkey no so answer is number two all right the rest of the options lion giraffe and monkey are all mammals and they give birth to live young the four animals shown in the diagram were placed in the same group crocodile lizard clownfish and frog all right so the animals belong in the same group because is it do they have scales as an outer covering so this one has scales this one has scales this one has scales but this one do not have this is moist skin so this is wrong can they live on land and water this one yes this one no this one yes this one no okay amphibians can live on land and water reptile or uh, crocodiles can also but uh clownfish and lizard no clownfish can only live in water lizard can only live on land so nope they can swim can all of them swim lizard cannot swim uh don't think uh, frogs can uh, crocodiles also can swim yeah they all also cannot uh they all lay eggs yes they all lay eggs uh all of them lay eggs so therefore the answer is number one all right so just slowly go through and eliminate those answers that are not correct the table below shows some characteristics of animal p q r and s so animal p has a tail no legs has wings two legs has a beak two legs antenna six legs Right again, uh, I can write some stuff here. I know that this is an insect because antenna six legs, big and two legs. I can guess that they are going to be birds. Wings and two legs, well, maybe birds, maybe not. Tail and no legs, I don't know what is it. David found a picture of the animal as shown below. So this is an insect. All right, which animal PQRS has similar characteristics as the above animal? So over here, I know insect. I look for insect, insect. So I know it's number, uh, it's animal S, number four. All right. So again, uh, for some of these questions, you can actually write down your analysis. All right. Or what you looking at this, what group uh, of animal it belongs to. And then from there, then you know what the group this belongs to. And then you just compare and you find the answer. Study the flow chart below. Does it lay eggs? No, it doesn't lay eggs. So that's animal E. Animal E don't lay eggs. So it's probably a mammal because it gives give birth to live young. Does it have wings? No, it doesn't have wings. Yes, it has wings. It has wings and lay eggs. Does it have feathers? Yes. So feathers, I know it's bird. All right. The rest is still a uh, question mark. I'm not very super sure what is it, but let's take a look at the question. Oh, when I look at the question, which letter E, F, G, or H best represents a bird? Uh, I've already written it here. Okay, so it's actually letter H, number four. Cannot be letter F because doesn't have wings and birds. So what are the characteristics of birds? Got wings, has a beak, and two legs. All right, so wings, nope, so cannot be a bird. The, oh yeah, and body covering is feathers. So does it have feathers? Nope, so it cannot be a bird. Does it lay eggs? Nope, cannot be and it lay bird lay eggs as well. Alright? So it cannot be all this three, then it must be H.